When we operate on someone with a bicuspid aortic valve, it's for one of two reasons. Either because that bicuspid aortic valve has become severely dysfunctional and requires an operation, or because the aorta that can become an aneurysm has gotten too big and needs an operation, or both of them have become problematic. The operations can be approached often minimally invasively and depends, again, on whether we're operating on the valve, the aorta, or both. It also depends, as far as the valve goes, on what the problem with the valve is. If that bicuspid valve is stenotic, that is, it's calcified and narrowed, we often have to replace that valve. If the valve has become regurgitant or leaky, it's often because one of the leaflets is floppy or loose and needs to be repaired. And we can fix that by suturing the valve directly. If it's the aorta that needs to be operated on, the way we address that problem is by replacing that abnormal segment of the aorta with something called a graft or an artificial tube of cloth to cut that bad aorta out and take its place.